I like it. They actually put a search item in the stash bar. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? Um, do to do. No, I like all the Kraken's eye. What else? It was the glory of my fighting years. The beast pulled nearly seven full crews into its belly before it was brought down. I was at the helm that day, and for that, my captain gifted me one of the beast's eyes. My proudest moment and my dearest treasure. I would not part with it for all the world. I cleared out the room for you. Hey, good work. Times like these, I can't afford to keep on anyone who can't pay their tab. The second word got around, I'd have every pauper in the city on my doorstep. The room's yours if you want it. And for a job well done, here's your pay. Nice. Minor positive reputation gained with one. Still kicking, eh? What will it be? Um... What can you tell me we, uh, uh, do, uh... Hmm. Any chance you saw the fight between Rinko and Mo Mokeo? Okay, ho? That'll be the Juana the poor fool got into a dust-up with, I expect. Yeah, I saw it. Made a real mess, they did. The two of them were having a game of cards, far as I could see. Guess things between them soured in Ari. I kicked the Juana out, had a few men carry what was left of Rinko home. Do you know who started it? Ah, uh, could have been anything. Rinko doesn't know when to quit talking, and some of those Juana are real serious types. As far as I'm concerned, we owe the Storm Speaker for keeping the town in one piece. Don't mean I'd invite her people over for tea. Well, so they were <clears throat> playing, a so they were playing against each other. Well, yeah. Think maybe Rinko wasn't expecting one of the Juana to know the game so well. He looked real nervous by the end. Oh, do you know Rinko? Well, no more than most. He's a hard man to like, let's say. Came here with the wife, an animancer. One of Odorisi's lot. The governor could tell you more there. That's all the questions I have. Sure. Just hope you don't mean to dredge anything up again. Leave the feuding for the blue bloods. All right, what can you tell me about Port Magic? Guess you haven't exactly seen the prettier side of the place since you landed, right? It's the only town on the island, if you don't count Sadahuzi, little Juana village out west. Really is a decent place most days. Good trade, and plenty of money rolling in from Claudio's investors. Ain't right doing business sober. I could fix that for you. Hmm. No, well, farewell. Okay, any named people in here? Nope. Okay. All right. Fresh fish! Race you to the coral. No contest. What? Just because you have webbed fingers and I can't swim? You are a strange man. Terra. Ado, begging your pardon for the mess, sir. We are still recovering from the storm. We have supplies here for the paying customer. Provisions for the road, perhaps? Mm, let me see what you have. Oh. Can't wait till I can get that. Oh, I can get it. <laughs> this is a ring of minor deflection. Definitely something editor can use. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I want to get any of that. 
Okay, stranded. Okay, Governor Clare invited me. Uh, the state, uh, burning bridges. Rinko, one of the uh, vendors, the local market, claims to have been uh, having a friendly round of cards at the tavern when he got fired. Uh, Suppose before we, um, or maybe we should actually try and let's take a look at the jail real quick. Who knows what's in there? Hey, what the? Oh. Yes. What is it I can do for you? I don't see many guards around. We are stretched thin. The storm speaker did much to help, but much of the town has flooded. Now we are awash in homeless citizens and stranded merchants, to say nothing of the cultists out there. Now I have Ilari's people making trouble up on Gorechi Street. His little gang is looting everything they can get their hands on, and the Bozzo kicks up his heels like a prince. Lucky for you that I'm around. I, uh, humbly offer my services. Let me out and I will bring you this Ilari's teeth. Shot it, Rigere. Something you wanted? I could go speak to this Ilari. Kue, I cannot say it would not be welcome, but you are only recently arrived and not I hear by choice. Why do this? I lost a lot of the storm myself. I want to help. I wish more felt as you do. I might get a full night's rest. Gorechi Street is in the western part of town. Just walk until you hit water. We don't need a bloodbath. I'm sure there's a peaceful solution to resolve this. I'd appreciate your looking for it. What happened to you? What happened? I showed the drunken fool more patience and respect than he deserved, and he struck me without warning. Sientere, Savia. You know that I was aiming for Darmo's pretty face. How are things in Port Marge? We lost no one to the storm, but many homes have been damaged, and the mm. people are terrified of this giant the scouts reported. It is chaos, pure and simple, but things might have been far worse. Oh, very well. Ado, stranger. Or is it captain? You have the carriage of a captain. A noble bearing all around. The man in the cell hobbles slightly as he steps forward, fixing an eager smile and glassy gaze upon you. Apreta, you must free me. I am a creature of the sea. I am not meant for this dark place. I will dry and wither like a landed fish. What did you do to end up in here? I did no one any harm. I am at the Kraken's eyes, so often Thorl should pay me. I sample every bottle for quality. My loyalty has given him heirs. I would have paid what I owed in time, had I the coin. You walked out on a tab, Rigere. Nothing to boast of. And then you crawled up to the governor's estate, pissed on the steps, and resisted arrest. Merla, I do not remember that at all. <laughs> right on the steps? I am sorry for the last. I tell you, Savia, I cannot help my magnificent reflexes. You were being very grabby. Do you know your way around a ship? Do I know ships? He asks. <laughs> I know every vessel on these waters, every one, from the galleon to the... to the... every one of them, sir. You have enemies? These fists will drive them into the waiting arms of the sea goddess. 
Farewell. Yeah, no. I don't need a drunkard on my ship. One is enough. Speaking of which. Oh, yes. This one is many centuries old. Accept the, the light, and you shall be redeemed. Uh. Oh, cheers, chat. A woman shouts, arms raise high and wide. At each hand, she grips a golden candle. The flames gutter wildly as she gestures toward the crowd before her. The missionary holds a candle to drip wax in the shape of three stars on the forehead of, uh, of each kneeling worshiper. One of them stumbles back, swiping the hot wax from his skin. Sefutito, Modicchio, I did not sign up to be burned. What do you think you're doing? Idling, that's what. Making ourselves feel all requited. Arms crossed over her chest, a shorter, dark-skinned woman watches the ritual with an ornery sort of expression. Her delicate chin jutted up. We just missed one of the biggest reapings of all time. What about the souls that need us? As she steps forward, she reaches for a peculiar-looking lantern strapped to her hip. Do not push me on this, you wayward child. You'd leave the living for law and to service the dead? Rather than discouraging the other Dawnstar, the accusation seems to kindle a stubbornness inside her. Shoulders set, she grins. Here, I'll add them all at once. Uh, metal uh, clanking, she sways in an... Mm, sways an eerily lit lantern in an intricate pattern before her. The priest bites her lip, swinging harder and faster. A lithe arms hurling the weapon with a deceptively hidden strength until she thrusts it hard out toward the crowd, buttering everyone with wax. What souls are you on about? The ones I dreamed died. Her words falter as she gets a good look at you for the first time. I'm guessing you're not here for the baptism. And what if I was? No, I don't think you are. You got this feeling about you. Like you got a greater purpose to say to. You dreamed people died? Sure did. I get those kind of dreams sometimes. The ones that turn out true. Hmm. Nightmares more like terrors that come true. <laughs> Had them since I was a little girl on the farm. Guess Gollum was speaking to me even then. Some of our brethren suffer from these visions more than others, while some of us, favorably, have none at all. It ain't a curse, it's a blessing, a mark of the divine. What happened here? It's madness, right? Who'd have thought a giant green statue might storm through the port? At the memory, her pupils gobble up the warm brown of her eyes, and the remaining darkness gleams wicked. I did. I dreamed it for months, again and again, and night and day, until I pushed the others to come here. We told the governor, but he wouldn't evacuate on account of me, uh, not knowing exactly when our god might arrive. No one believed it, but how could we know? The woman uh, wrings her hands before wiping trimly. Wax smeared mm, fingers down the sides of her robe. Do you know where I can find the governor? I surely do. I already asked him to let me inland on account of my dreams that came true. But he's not giving out the location of the Audra Pillar. You think he'd tell you? You're not permitted, child, because it's too dangerous. But you never listen. Yet I hear you all the time, Wangleth. 
Gon's been calling me here. Left the breadcrumbs in my dreams. I need to get inland. If you're going, I could help you. Swear on my soul. Who's Gon? Gon's a smidge of darkness in the light. He was the part of Aethys who divined the dignity of dying and the return journey to life. Gon's a smidge oh, of darkness. Who are you? Oh, hell. Now, where are my manners? I'm Shodi, child of the Dawn Stars and priestess to Gon. At your service. Better nods in agreement. Oh, you're a priest? Darn right I am. Why? You know an awful lot about Gon? Gon's an aspect of Aethys. I think you mean he's all what's left. You did hear, Aethys died, yeah? When summer and spring have passed us on, well, that just leaves us autumn and winter and Gon. Clever. Uh, catchy. <laughs> you think I'm addled? A little touched in the head? Figure I'm a bit unorthodox. But that doesn't mean I'm wrong. More than unorthodox, it's profane. Why do you want to go inland? There are souls needing their last rites. I ought to shine them the light, else they might get lost. Enough nonsense, Choti. No one knows if anyone's even died. You've no business going in there, risking your own safety, risking our mission. Wanglith, you guide the living and I guide the dead. Gon bids it and I dreamed it. Leave it be. We all serve our purposes. So what's yours? I'm a watcher. So you can see souls? <laughs> That's a handy talent to have. I know my harvesting would benefit from it. If you're looking to talk to the governor, I might guess you're thinking to go inland. If so... Watcher, will you take me with you? A fine proposition. I'd enjoy the company of a priestess. I know an offer rare as hen's teeth when I hear it. Yeah, I'm taking it. You won't regret this. She steals a shy glance at Edder. Uh, hey. Edder half nods without looking in it and showed his direction. He seems suddenly focused on something in the distance. Uh, a tad too eagerly, she uh, taunts closer beso uh, close beside you. At least take care, child. Come back to us in one piece. If not for my sake, then Sauron's. So don't tell her. What the high priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. Um, yes, it would. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Oh, um, by the way, I think I know who that voice is. I, I think that's Laura Bailey. Okay, choose a single class or multi-class for this companion. This choice cannot be changed later. Subclass Harvester of Gone. Go ahead and preview ability tree. Okay. Blessed Harvest. Interrupts on crit and penetration 9. Interrupt 120 slash damage. Uh, reap an enemy in the name of Gon. If the enemy mm, is bloodied or near death, they will receive significantly more damage from Blessed Harvest. Damn. And if I choose Monk... Mm 
in combat only. Upgrades for wounds. Uh, lowers the monk's wound threshold, allowing them to gain wounds at a faster rate. I think I'm just going to have her as a normal priest. Magnificent. The children of the Dawn Stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. There's someone I used to know. Just a, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around. See if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Just a friend, huh? Shiodi rubs the back of her neck, clearly uncomfortable. How, do you, how did you know her? Uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. You can trust me, you know. Your cheeks are red. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. <laughs> Jody's face uh, models bright red and she turns away, hands covering her eyes. <laughs> That's my favorite kind. I knew you'd understand. You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. <laughs> awesome. All right, I guess that's gonna be our uh, formation for the time being. May Aethys's light shine upon you. You watch over her, you hear? That's one of ours whose fate you've taken into your hands. I will. For God's sake, I don't need Nanny and Wanglith. I've reaped more with my two hands than you'll dream in a lifetime. And you've pride in that. Do you see why she needs guarding? You must shield her light. Do not let her lose it or her life. Do you seek a blessing from the light? Actually, we're looking for someone who came out this way, way uh, this way uh, years back. If it's a fellow missionary you seek, then you might talk with Nordigand at the temple in Nekitaka. She's been around a while, knows more of us than most anyone else. Hmm. Happy to oblige. Who we? About time we took a breather. My feet are blistered something fierce. We didn't even go anywhere. <laughs> Hands braced on her knees for support, she leans forward and uh, sucks in a breath of fresh air. Her eyes never leave your face. A rosy flush slowly brightens her cheeks, and she beams you with a uh, beams you a wide, uh, brash grin. Tell me what's on your mind. Oh, uh, mm, what are your thoughts on Aethys? We talking during the Saints War or after he died? Uh, uh Shodi tap, uh, Shodi. A weird way to pronounce that. Shodi taps a finger into her lips and hums thoughtfully. What's the difference? Well, before he died, he was still Aethys as the majority of my brethren know him. Aethys embodied a human. And when that human got blown to bits, we all believed Aethys died. Peter <laughs> gives a nod and a wink. And I think a part of him did. The part he'd most closely woven into live in flesh. The part that represented life and rebirth after death. Which means the part of him that could have survived, that stormed across the dead fire seas, was the side more aligned with obsession, rot, and falling away. That which is death. Tell me about Aethys leading up to and during the Saints War. Mm, I really only know what my folks taught me. Aethys embodied St. Wadwin, but during the war, he got blown to bits. That's the thing about human bodies. Eventually, they all gotta die. As the god of rebirth, of course, Aethys would be coming back. But where I differ from my family's view, and my high priestess's view, is that I've studied the apotheosis of Gaon. And I know all about the backside, the downward swoop, the death part of the cycle of life. 
Abs What's gone can oh. never be again. What comes back is changed. Always. Even if what comes back is a god. Uh, what's your take on Aethys uh, following the Saints' War? Then you mean gone. Sure, maybe my god still answers to Aethys as well. Why not? But Aethys died. And death requires change. He ain't what he was. Not in exactly the same way. That's why I think his other aspect, his darkness in the light, is what's burning brighter in him now. Uh, let's pick something else. Don't need to fiddle foot around. I'm listening. Uh, should you be swearing so much as a priestess? <laughs> Reckon not. But I can't help but be a touch wayward. I don't take it too far. My ma caught me once necking in the Merkberry stalks. And of course I fight. But I'm not done much more than that. And I don't use the real ugly words. Well, she waggles her sickle around in a helpless sort of gesture. Sometimes the feelings, they just come tumbling right out of me. God darn it. <laughs> That's yeah, all for now. It's best we gotta move on. Darn it. Oh, jeez. This is just the harbor then? Um, okay. So, what are my tasks? This quest is at least four levels higher than your character's current level. Failure is all but assured. Huh? Huh? Okay. Thank you for telling me about that. Western part of Port Maje. Huh. While on a city map, you can select um whatever that is to use the port shop and resupply your ship. Oh, really? Oh. Interesting. All right. As you make your way along the, along through the side streets of Port Mage, you come upon uh, visible traces of the storm's passing. Continue. As you make your way along through the, uh, uh, many of the houses here boast, uh, here boast cracked window panes and sagging uh, awnings, and you pass narrow streets stewn with foliage debris. The cobblestones beneath your feet are thick, are still uh, slick with water and silt. Before long, you are ankle deep in sucking mud and loose stone. The flooding only worsens up ahead, where the water level rises to the knees. Po um, most of uh, Port Maje's residents have fled this region for dry land. With the murmur of raised voices ahead and the occasional splash suggests that you are not entirely alone. Ah. Ooh, what do you do? Uh, darkest bound, plus one perception, ability activates when near death grants darkest. Uh, when near death, um, grants darkest before dawn. Hmm. 
Okay, so by the looks of it... Wait, hold on. So... 